My secret is I never smoked, I never drank, and I never did drugs. Tempest Storm is my ultimate burlesque idol. She's just so amazing. I have been looking forward to this. I'm ready to cry right now. I just... <laughs> I always wanted to be a class act. I put the T's back into strip T's. The man upstairs don't want me up there. And the devil gave up on me a long time ago, so I'm going to be here for a while. <laughs> I was doing research for my PhD, which is on 1950s sex icons. And I was at a burlesque convention, as you do, and I met Tempest Storm, who is an incredible character and I just couldn't believe that a woman who was friends with Marilyn Monroe, had been the girlfriend to Elvis, had had an affair with JFK, had you know never had her story documented in right. any cohesive way so I, I knew Namisha and I knew Namisha's work um, and so I approached her and said hey do you want to go to Vegas <laughs> and she did which was fortunate for me yeah and starting out, I mean, when you start building on this idea, I mean, how do you even find out so much about her? Did you actually talk to her? Did you find out details like about her off on the side or was she kind of walking you through her story? Caitlin knew a lot about Tempest just through her research, but I think what was kind of fun about this partnership was that I was new to the world of burlesque. I, I didn't really know much about Tempest. so. Which I think is an asset because then as a documentary filmmaker you go in and you're asking all the right questions because right. you don't know anything yet. And so I think that what was awesome about Tempest is that she was just so, she's so generous right now in terms of giving us access. Mm -hmm. And so when you ask a great question, it's, it's uh, your hope that they're just going to res you know, respond with all the details. And thankfully Tempest is, uh, Tempest knows how to tell a good story. Yes. So. That's She's, cool. Yeah. I mean, I've already seen a little bit of the footage. It seems like she just <laughs> leaps off the screen. <laughs> um, did you, uh, how much did you shoot already? Did you shoot like just a few minutes or how much is there? We've been to uh, Las Vegas twice. And huh? so we've shot about 20% of the film, we'd say. But uh, yeah, we're, the, we just, the goal is to just keep going back and to just yeah. keep getting uh, more footage of Tempest and keep learning about this incredible past that she has. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yeah, we have, you know, she's a few events. She's, um, in November, she's doing a benefit for the Muddy Waters estate with the wow. uh, Dita Von Tees. So, sadly, Muddy Waters' is home is being knocked down, and oh, no. Tempest is going to save it. That's amazing. So, we've got to go, too. <laughs> um, and then she's invited to this kind of fabulous Christmas party every year with all sorts of icons from that period and wow. we're told we don't know yet like we cannot confirm this for sure but we are told that Sophia Loren might be attending wow so I'm psyched about that you know <laughs> the thing about Tempest is anything can happen with Tempest so yeah. we're just staying open to all the totally. possibilities she surprises every time I talk to her she surprises me yeah definitely. there's always like a new person she just like there's a new them. person that she has fun she's like you know what me and Mickey Rooney, I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's just on the side. That's amazing. <laughs> so uh, then going through this, you're going to do a pitch session at uh, a TIFF. Mm -hmm. um, have you guys pitched before for that? I've, um, I've pitched before with past documentaries that I've done. This is my third feature doc, um, but this is our first time at Pitch This, and this is basically the launching point for this project. Right. That's a big deal. I mean, it's a very cool place to start. Yeah, we're the only documentary. Oh, yeah, really? <laughs> yeah, we're, we're the only documentary. We're the wow. only female team, and there's really big players in this. So we're we're happy to be a part of it. <laughs> we're we're happy to be a, to have been selected. So yeah. how are you going to? What's the strategy for pitching? What what do you want to get across to them? I mean, we have six minutes, so we're trying to use those every second wisely. And right. basically, we're we want to introduce people to Tempest, so we have a demo that we put together. So hopefully, they can get a sense of how she reads on screen and what kind of mm -hmm. stories they can expect to hear. And then, uh, you know, 
the other part of it is mostly pleading with right. people <laughs> to thank you. It's a great <laughs> idea. Come on. Help us make this film. I mean, for us, we're making this film regardless. Yeah. Right. So of course. this is just really a fun experience that we're taking in and uh, hopefully getting some great connections out of it. And kind of make it easier to make the film, basically. Is that yeah. the idea? Yeah. 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 I mean, we're committed. We know we're going to do this. So. Yeah. And at the same time, we're doing Kickstarter, the first Canadian, like one of the first Canadian projects on Kickstarter. Yeah. Uh, where where did that idea come from? Well, I, I mean, mean, go ahead. My, uh, I mean, I've been hearing about Kickstarter for a long time, and I think it's um, this film particularly is the perfect fit because Tempest has a fan base that's international, and this is a way to get everybody involved and mm -hmm. become a part of it. And uh, I have filmmaker friends like, um, you know, the wonderful team that did Indie Game. And, you know, right. this is like a new way of financing independent films. And the fact that it's launching in Canada is a really big deal for Canadian filmmakers. It means that we can, you know, get a piece of the pie now. That's cool. And it, ha it happens to be launching on the very same day as our pitch at TIFF. Right. So Monday is a big day for us. So it's a huge day. September 9th. <laughs> September 9th, a biggie. And it, but it's also, like, Kickstarter does a few things. It's, it, yes, it raises money for your project, which is amazing, but also right now we're dealing with uh, a figure who has a very diverse fan base, mm -hmm. a very spread out fan base based on the figures that she's been involved with. She's also historical, so not all of her fans m might be on Instagram and Twitter. Right. <laughs> Um, so we're hoping that also Kickstarter provides some sort of venue that we can kind of start bringing that fan base together. Hmm. That's Hopefully. cool. Yeah. You're I building mean, your audience before mm -hmm. you've even made your film. It's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> Does this, I mean, since you've been doing filmmaking, you know, for a while, has it gotten easier because of these kind of tools? I think that the biggest thing right now with documentaries or independent Canadian films is you can't get development money. It's really hard to get development financing. So right. this is like the new way of doing that and it actually can trigger some of the bigger networks or funding agencies by now mm. saying, look, we've been successful. We know people want to see this movie made. Mm -hmm. really, we've got this cash that they've invested in the film already. You know, right. you're basically finding ways so that people can't say no. Right. You know, when you say we've done a successful Kickstarter complain, campaign, look what we've brought to the table, it's really hard for someone to ignore that. Yeah. And it's almost like you're actually gauging pre-interest in a film by, mm -hmm. by going totally. this route. Yeah, it's uh, it's just insurance for them that when right. the film is complete, that there are people who are going to come out and see it. Yeah. That's cool. And then promote it for you, which is even more important. And then hopefully come back to TIFF with it. <laughs> yeah. And bring her <laughs> to Toronto. We yeah, TIFF yeah. really wants to come back to Toronto. So yeah. Yeah, we're hoping to see that happen. So for you guys today, start a TIFF. Uh, are you excited for anything specific that you want to do or see? We're going to see. We're going to see the big chill reunion tonight, which I'm super psyched about. Like nerdily psyched <laughs> about. I was playing my like on my record player like the album, like the the, the best soundtrack ever today. So that you know, Glenn's gonna be there. <laughs> yeah. Psyched. Yeah. So that's a good thing. Close action. I know a lot of people want you know want to learn about Wiki Night leaks tonight, but. Uh, <laughs> of <course. laughs> I live in the but, past. But that's a big deal. I mean, that is a, a big cool deal. Reason. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're going to just enjoy it. I think we're just going to have, have fun at the festival. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, thank you guys very much. Thank you. Thank you.